again. It's very awkward because it's been a while. But anyway, so I have the $10 boxes or bags, however you want to call them, from the B subscription services. This is Birchbox, Sephora, and Ipsy that we're going to do. And I haven't done these in a long time. Um, but let's go ahead and get into this one. This one is, says behind the scenes. I actually almost did a whole video with the September box because I grabbed the September box and then I had another birch box. And I was like, why do I have two birch boxes here? So the September box sucked, by the way. Just to let you know. Okay, so October. Um, behind the scenes beauty, we're pulling back the curtain on some of beauty's hardworking secret weapons that will keep you looking your best all fall. Damn, fall already? Mm. Okay, um, save the holiday. Our holiday shop is launching November 2nd. Okay, blah, blah, blah. I'm looking at these boxes because they look very similar. They kind of both, both kind of suck. It kind of looks like. I'm talking about the two birch boxes. All right, um, first thing in here that calls my attention is from Biolage matrix this is the uplift shampoo and conditioner which actually that's pretty good i mean i need some lift in my hair it's kind of i need to do something i i don't know what i want to do with my hair my hair is, I, i'm tempted to cut it all off i've had long hair my whole entire life never really had short hair except for like maybe to the middle of my back here i mean my hair goes down to my my butt basically um i don't know i'm so tempted to cut all my hair off i don't know what i'm gonna do don't know. So, you know when people say, oh, I forgot to press record. That's what I just did. Gotta do this all over. It's like I stopped at talking about my hair and then I realized it was on the wrong setting so I just switched the setting and apparently when I switched the setting it stopped recording but I kept talking. Yeah, that's so stupid. Anyway, moving on. I think this is where I left off at. Um, let's see. Birchbox. The Stila Stay All Day. Um, this eyeliner is amazing, amazing, amazing. I've had the full size several times. I just recently have the um, Clinique. Um, I forgot which one it is. It's only $10, the Clinique one. It is very comparable to this one. This one does stay. It doesn't smear. This one's really, really, really good. So this one is better. However, they perform very similarly. Um, it's just that this one definitely doesn't smear. It doesn't run if water gets on it or anything like that. So this is amazing. And I think for this alone in the box, because um, like I said, looking at the box, let me see. Or I did say it. I don't know if I said it in the part that I was talking to myself or in the part that I was talking in the video that was actually being recorded. But this box and the other box look very similar. Um... I don't know, whatever. Um, so I have the hair stuff. We have this here. This is Hydra Memory Cream Gel, 24 hour hydration cream gel, because it's comfort zone. I don't know if it's from comfort zone or, yeah, I think so, comfort zone. The full size of this is $60. This is like the tiniest sample um, birch box. That's just what they do that, I mean, if you're gonna get into a, a beauty subscription and you get into birch box, just know that birch box has small samples. That is just how it is. If you get something big and a full size or something that's like a plus and a bonus. But in general, Birchbox has small samples. So I'm excited to use that. This is from, <laughs> this was funny when I read it the first time by myself. So I'm going to read it again to you. Okay, it says Kiehl's Midnight Recovery Concentrate, a replenishing elixir of pure essential oils and distilled botanicals to visibly restore the appearance of skin by morning. By morning. So this is a miracle in a bottle, basically. By morning, it's going to be a miracle because I'm going to be completely restored. Just saying. Just saying. So this is one, two, three. Four, five. I have a feeling like something else should be in here. Let me read the little thing. We have the shampoo, the Stila. Nope, that's it. That's everything that's in the birch box. So it's okay. Ten dollars for birch box. It's a little bit disappointing. However, like I said, this eyeliner alone 
makes it worthwhile because this is an awesome eyeliner and I chose this particular box just to get the liner. I didn't even know what else was going to be in the box and nor did I even care what was going to be in the box because I wanted the eyeliner. So that's Birchbox. Um, next I'm going to go with Ipsy this time around because I already did it. So Ipsy, typical pink bag. Um, this month's bag is like this, it looks like it has a lace overlay, it doesn't, it's a burgundy cute little bag. I like the little shape, it looks like a bowl shape, I don't know, whatever, that's my opinion. Um, inside the bag itself came with a brush from Furlease and I was saying before, I'm going to say this all throughout this rest of this video because I'm repeating myself. Um, Fernice, if I'm not mistaken, was a company that has made or does make um, these patches, you know, like under eye patches, they were patches that you put in the middle of your forehead and it, they were shaped like that, like to fit in the middle of your forehead. And it was like, like a rainbow kind of thing on the top and then it dipped down like that. Anyway. Um, so they were supposed to stick on and then like these little furl brow things that you guys do or we do or whatever it was supposed to not be there by morning or something like that. I don't know. It didn't work. It didn't work. Anyway, this is the brush. It looks like a very nice fluffy blending brush. Um, or that you can just pack, pack on some crease. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Blending, blending and packing, blending and packing. I like that. I like the long handle. It's like a really long handle. This brush feels really, really nice. Um, okay. Then we have, oh, from It Cosmetics, this is the Bye Bye Pores Pressed Airbrush Silk Pressed Anti-Aging Finishing Powder. So when you open this up, it has like this little sponge on the inside. It's really difficult to open. Okay. So you pop it open and it has this little sponge on top. There's like this little, oh, I just took it off right now. Like there was like this little plastic covering that goes on top of the powder. So um, I think this is really nice to keep in my desk at work. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Okay, it just kind of shows like the picture of some lady here and um, like she's shiny and then she puts the powder on and she's not shiny. So yeah, that's what it sh should be anyway, right? Okay, next we have from Essence. This is a blush in Satin Love, number 20. I even did nice little swatchy swatchies for you and um, I'll have to do it again. Um, this is really pretty though. It has a nice little quilted pattern on it. The color is really beautiful, like a, a pale, um, like, mauvey rosy pink shade is that correct it's kind of like brownish pink can i say that too all right anyway so that looks really nice it's a nice matte blush and then we have two more items this is from tarte i didn't know that tarte had this kind of a mascara it's called lifted and it is a sweat proof mascara i'm confused by that does that mean it's waterproof too if it's sweat proof I don't know does I guess I don't I guess you can wear it to the gym I'm thinking about sweating on your eyes so <laughs> that's what my confusion is is like sweat proof how are you gonna sweat on your lashes but I guess if you go to the gym um, and you're sweating from your forehead or whatever and the sweat comes dripping down okay that makes sense but cute packaging and then this one here is from Context. This is a vitamin C all day eye cream, which I'm all about that too. So I'm not mad about that. And this looks like a full size. So very nice bag from Ipsy. Okay, from Sephora Play, it says public display of complexion here. Very cute bag. Um, inside, there's a lot of good stuff in the Sephora box. A lot of good stuff. Um, they have like this little, I call it like a map. They always have this and it kind of tells you how to use different things, what to do. This one is good morning. Drink your water, blah, 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 wash your face. <gasps> oh. Oh. I'm tired. Yeah. Okay, first thing in here is from It Cosmetics. This is the Bye Bye Under Eye Illumination. 
It comes in a cute little pink squeezy tube. I just recently, it says full coverage anti-aging waterproof concealer. I recently was reusing the one in the black tube, the Bye Bye Under Eye, the original one, and um, my eyes, my under eyes were creasing like crazy. That Like I used it two days in a row and I was like, okay, the first time it creased and I was like, okay, maybe I did something different or whatever. And the next day I used it again and I was like, freaking A. I said, and that is the reason why I stopped using it. That I remembered after a while. I was like, I stopped using it because it kept creasing under my eyes. Um, but it was really good to cover up like my hyperpigmentation. I have massive, massive hyperpigmentation, which you can't really see. You might be able to see it maybe, I don't know. Um, if I don't have makeup on, I've done a video. I have a foundation video that I did a while ago. You could probably scroll through and see if you can find it. Um, I had something that was sent to me to do a review and I did a foundation video, I think, or something. I don't know. It doesn't matter. Anyway, um, but it's good to cover up that, but it's not good for under eyes. So I'm, I will try it. Maybe I'll try it tomorrow. I don't have high hopes, to be honest, because that creasing thing, I just like the sharp, sharp, nope, tart shape tape. I just got a new one actually today at Ulta. Okay. Um, Urban Decay Quick Fix Hydra Charge Complexion Prep Priming Spray. <coughs> At Ulta, I did see the full size bottle of this. It looked just like this. Um, and it says it's a pore minimizing priming spray infused with coconut water and mega hydration and skin soothing benefits. I did already spray this on my face, and it does smell like coconut, like um, tropical kind of beach beachy kind of spray scented whatever it smelled like coconut um so i did like it and it's supposed to you know do all these amazing things for your face oh, okay here listen to this this is really good it says our hydrating quick fix formula is perfect for the days when your skin needs more moisture yes always um but what about when you're battling oil and shine yes i'm like oily but my face is dry does that make sense? Um, uh, it has B6 vitamin infused complexion priming, prep priming spray, preps, primes, and balances the complexion as it evens out skin tone, absorbs oil, and reduces shine. It features the first patented form of stabilized vitamin B6 along with antioxidant vitamin E and exfoliating willow bark. So, super cool. I'm like, that is, that, that's me, that's me, that's me. This is for me. Okay, and then we have from Makeup Forever, this is the Ultra High HD um, Invisible Cover Foundation. Um, I'm not sure what the shade is. I It says Y335, is that a shade? I don't know, but that's what's here. Um, it says that it's a fan favorite for uh, known for its long wearing coverage and flawless finish that looks natural in every light. Um, it says that if the shade is not right, you can take your like little play card that's on there um, and then you can take it to Sephora and get your own nice sample to match your own tone, shade, whatever. So that's pretty cool. Um, and then we had from Sunday Riley. This is the Rapid Flash Brightening Serum. So that's pretty cool. I'm really excited. I just talked about my hyperpigmentation, so I would definitely be putting that on those areas. And then lastly, oh no, that's not the last thing. Um, there's one more thing after this. The Sephora Micellar Triple Action Cleansing Water. Um, I don't see like a separation of oil and water in here. Like the one I have has a separation and it's really awesome. I don't know why some do and some don't. Mm, I don't know. Hopefully this does okay. I got one from, what's it called? It's a, a brand that I always see in Ulta philosophy. Um, and it, I don't like it. I don't like it at all. It's just like water, like literally water. And it doesn't take off my makeup. It doesn't do anything. It's like like as if it's water. And I feel like I got so ripped off with that thing. Um, and last thing in here is from Gucci. This is the Gucci Bloom. I don't like this scent. It smells like another perfume that I've smelled in the past. And I don't like that one, obviously. Um, but the, the notes in here, it says that it's floral, rangoon creeper, I don't know what that is, and jasmine bud, which yes, 
It's that's what the scent is. I like jasmine, but I don't like it in a perfume. Like fresh jasmine flowers and and those are great, but I don't like it in a perfume. So, mm. um, so really nice box, bag, whatever you want to call it. We have this um, <clears throat> Urban Decay, the little perfume sample, the my cellular water foundation, cool, the face stuff here, brightening serum stuff from Sunday Riley, and then the Bye Bye Under Eye from It Cosmetics, the illuminating one. And this one is in the color medium. The shade range on here is completely off, don't you think? It's light, medium, tan, I guess, and dark, tan and deep. I guess medium is me, but I've used medium in their other stuff, and the medium is like a super dark. But anyway, so the sun is going away. I have to end because it's super dark outside. It's pouring rain outside and uh, yeah, I guess I gotta go. So thank you so much for watching and listening to me babble on and on and on. And I will see you again in another video. Bye. I was recording.